All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. Hey! You shall have no other Paimon before this Paimon! <laughs> Unfortunately, my skills are not that advanced. There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Why are you so obsessed with other Paimons? Do I no longer satisfy your primordial needs? <laughs> you two are a fascinating pair, I must say. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead. And a radish veggie soup. Such a brute. <laughs> Oh. 
Leave it all to me. Someone needs assistance. Catch up! Go gliding.
catch up. Enjoy this. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? Don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision, and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does, though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait! You had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's... uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine us no. No. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too?
A touch of frost. things up a little.
It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Hey, Duluk. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Shnesnaya? What if they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic.
crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Devalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing as possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored! We should be able to use it now! It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. The wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the liar would be... Even Amber would never think of doing such a thing. If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely. 
mostly for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it, too. Oh, we get it, Master Diluc. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now he attempts to deceive you once more. Our Beatles. Let your wrath Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! You... You were planning this all on to have me slain No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic shadows, watch the world's reward be! Devalin. Barbe, Venti, please be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. You're right. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalin at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds Temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. Returns. When your homeland returns to this world, we shall revel in its glory. 